Zoom has been criticized for privacy and security issues, and the term Zoom bombing, when unwanted interlopers interrupt a group video session, has entered the lexicon, unfortunately for Zoom. This has particularly been a problem for schools, some of which have actually banned Zoom. Now, although Zoom has been working hard to fix these issues, there have been plenty of people that have been put off by these missteps. Or, some people just prefer another service for personal video chatting. Good news is that there are plenty of business and personal choices out there. And in today's video, I'm going to cover some of these. So let's dive right in. Webex is a video conferencing app that has been around for quite some time. The company was originally founded in 1995 and was subsequently acquired by Cisco in 2007. While it has been known as a business application and continues to focus on serving companies, it does have a very good free version that's worth checking out, especially since it has expanded the features of the freemium version from 50 to 200 participants. It has also removed the 40 minute limit on meetings. So it doesn't matter how many people you are in the meeting, you can host meetings for as long as you want. And it has added call in abilities. So some of its main features are you can host up to 200 participants. You can have unlimited time for each meeting and it has the call in for audio feature. Another long-term player in the video conferencing space is Skype, which thanks to its high quality audio and video has been a go-to platform for one-on-one -on -one conversations since the beta was released in 2003. Recently, its Meet Now feature, which is accessed by choosing the Meet Now button on the left-hand side of the app, offers free video conferencing. You can even head over to the Skype website to create a free conference room no app download required so some of its main features are keep a recording of the call for up to 30 days you can blur your background if you have the app you can share presentations and you can use the chat feature remember google hangouts while well, despite not being promoted by Google, the service is still available and free to use. You can use Hangouts to video chat with up to 10 people. There aren't a lot of features. You have access to a text chat and you can share your screen. But really, that's about it. Still, if you want quick and easy, this is worth checking out. Alright, so key features of Hangout is that you can have up to 10 participants in a video call and voice conversations can have up to 150 participants. Google announced that it is making its professional video conferencing tool, Meet, free for all, to take on Zoom and the growing number of other rivals from companies like Facebook. To date, Google Meet has been limited to G Suite Enterprise customers, but now that has changed as anybody with a Gmail account can now use it to talk to up to 100 participants. The company also said that all users up until September 30th will be able to chat on Meet for as long as they like. Woohoo! After that, calls will be capped at 60 minutes unless you upgrade. So some of the key features of Google Meet are you can video conference with up to 100 participants and you can have unlimited call time until September 30th, 2020. Microsoft Themes allows businesses to store all conversations, files, meetings, and apps in a shared workspace that you can easily access from your device. Themes lets you manage projects on the go, complete with file editing and sharing. And most importantly of all, 
you can connect face to face with HD audio and video as well as join meetings from wherever you are. Additionally, with Themes, you can chat privately or in groups, communicate in designated channels, save conversations, customize notifications, and also search conversations. The app requires a paid commercial subscription to Office 365 or a free or trial subscription of Microsoft Themes. Among the many key features that Microsoft Themes has, you can host up to 250 participants, you can blur your background, and so much more. The massively popular texting and calling app allows group video chats of up to four participants. Sure, that's a far cry from Zoom's limit of 100, but maybe it suits your personal needs and it doesn't have Zoom's 40 minute time limit for free group calls. Note that you can't access it without a mobile phone and the desktop app doesn't support video calling, nor is there anything in the way of emoji or text chatting during group video calls. However, if you just need something that is free and for personal use, then this is a great app. So WhatsApp's key features are that you can have up to four participants, it is easily accessed, and it's best for personal use. <music>